So since I was 13, I was living with my mother's sister at the village. Her name is Okon Okamaka Okwe. When I was 13 years, my daddy came to carry me, so I followed him. Since that 13 years, he has been sleeping with me to up to now. It was 2018, September 24th, when he came and carried me. One week, I stayed in Owere one week, go back to Olu, that's one week. So the upper week, when I came back to Owere, I did not go back again. Firstly, he started like this when I was sleeping. He romanced me. I was asking, ah, what is the problem? He said that nothing. He just wants to... He just wants me to know that I am his daughter, that he is not going to do anything bad to me. I have no problem. This is like that. All of, we now played that time. So the next day, I was not feeling fine. He used me. The second one, he started using me. He don't used to. He don't used to give me drugs. He just he would just use me in his normal eyes, and nothing is doing him. He will use me. Since that time, he has been using me to up to now. If I refuse, he do beat me. Uh, my body will be weak. I will be weak so that I cannot even shout. And he don't used to give me chance as in to move uh, and tell people, see what is happening. He, no, he normally trusts me too much. The time that his friend came to our house, maybe suddenly they did not go that day and they want to sleep. He asked me to go so that they will use me. If I refuse, he will beat me, but I allow some people to use me, three of them. They didn't give me, they doesn't give me money and he didn't give me money. They have arrested him, at least I have, have some peace now. According to my mom, she said that my daddy always beats her every day. Sometimes he wanted, the thing that make her to come back is that she, she he wanted to rape her sister, so she decided to run away. Our landlady, I told her, look at what is happening. She said that this thing is an abomination, that she cannot keep it to herself. So she now went outside and told that there is one woman, one Mrs. Okoro, that she told the, the woman now called his husband. The husband now come to the police station and make an arrangement. They come and arrest him. They brought me here because of using my, using my, but this thing happened, I bring him here to, to, uh, two years ago. Since then, I this thing that he said no, is not only me, and it's one of, uh, it's one of, it started it with one of my boy. And the, that day, that day I came in, I don't know what to run to my face. And I'm not quite sure that uh, I miss, I miss, I miss day to day. I just, I just carry her. He on top of me. And since that time, I didn't, and I never do anything. I said this once, that, uh, that day that I'm telling you, the other day we are just playing. Well, because we are, we are normally as players as, as father and they say, I'm just, we are just playing. No, the play, when they don't, you know, if, 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 if either he pinch me or I pinch him, or if I, uh, he told my, he said, that did, that did, that did, I do this, if he sleep, I slap him. If I, if I get to sleep, he slap me. But I'm, I'm always beating her for, maybe if he went, if he went as I come late, or if we cook something, spoiled. That is why I'm beating him. I'm not threatening her. That is why I said, I said I don't know what come over to me. That day, I didn't know what over, what come over me. So that is, that is why. It is an absurd incident. We are here to hear and know and learn about the defilement, the incest, the father, sleeping with her daughter, an abomination. And we, are, we come to know about it through the police, the DPO, and his uh, workers here in this uh, Oji branch. Initially, when we heard about it, we thought it would be swept under the carpet like the normal uh, you know, uh, Nigerian stuff. But when we came here and learned how gallantly they went, you know, arrested the uh, suspects. Then, or even other suspects have, you know, some of them have been, you know, arrested and they are under their custody. And they are making thorough investigation to dig out the truth about the whole thing. I am really impressed. And the FIDA, in my state branch, I trusted. FIDA International, our country vice, uh, vice uh, chairperson, our country national president, is equally interested in the matter. All the FIDA uh, members all over the country. FIDA stand is that we, justice must be 
the you know, get of, she, the girl must get justice, no matter it's the father. The man must face the wrath of the law. And the girl will try and see how the girl is rehabilitated so that she will fit in. We we'll make sure we try and help her go out of this uh, trauma go out, goes out of her and she continues her school. That's the stake of it here. Yeah. We are advising mothers to be very, very vigilant and careful with their female, you know, female children. Because even in our office, in our feeder office, we have a lot of stories, defilement, or adult defiling, or two, or seven, or two years, three years, away. we have a lot of them we are attending to. So we are saying that mothers should take care of their female children, and men, please, should be very, very careful. And the most important thing, let God, because I don't think this thing is normal, it's insanity. We pray God to really send sanity into this life so that people will know the limits of uh, the crime they commit. The command received the news from a concerned citizen who, upon reasonable suspicion, was convinced that something abnormal was happening in the house of, uh, of his neighbor. He alerted the police and uh, our men from OG Divisional Police Headquarters moved in and arrested one Chinonsu Okorongpo, 44 years of age, who was, as at that time, caught having sex with his daughter, 15 years of age. He was arrested and he made confessional statement to that effect. Since then, the command also continued investigation. And in the course of the investigation, it was also revealed that that was not the first time, as he has been having tongues on the girl for, for, a, for a while now. And it was also discovered that he also invites some of his friends who come to the house and also do the same, talking about having canal knowledge of his daughter, a 15 years old girl. Right now, he is in custody. Investigation is at advanced stage and he will be prosecuted accordingly. Well, we, we are making efforts to get all of them so that all of them will tell us what they know and what parts they took in the commission of the offense.